There has been an awakening. Have you felt it? Well, everyone, it's just a few more days till Star Wars The Force Awakens is unleashed on the world. But can the much-hyped film live up to expectations? Yes! Yeah! Since our last video, there have been 22 TV ads, seven foreign trailers, cast interviews, and crucial plot details leaked out by toys. That's right, Mike. Star Wars is back, mother Disney even made a short video explaining to young children what this Star Wars is that their grandpa keeps talking about. A long time ago, a group of young heroes banded together to save the galaxy from an evil empire. A dark new threat promises to destroy everything that they fought for. Now it's time for a new generation of heroes. We got company. And don't forget about product tie-ins. Star Wars used to be for kids and man-children, but now they have Star Wars makeup. That's for girls. What are you doing? No, nothing, nothing. So much Star Wars, it's everywhere. I can't f***ing escape it. I'm gonna buy it all. Chewbacca surfing poster. R2-D2 purse for fat girl. Darth Vader soap dispenser. The most embarrassing thing ever. Lonely office worker wall stickers. Little girl stormtrooper dress. Death Star bath rug. Embarrassing Boba Fett hoodie. Chewbacca onesie for man child. Sexy stormtrooper. R2-D2 Christmas ornament. Yoda just wants to be dead stocking. Shirt this man would never ever wear. Four foot tall Darth Vader that hits your kid in the groin. Irritated Chewbacca, plush toy. Stormtrooper luggage for recently divorced man. Well, I guess they drew the line at adult diapers, hemorrhoid cream, and condoms. <laughs> Star Wars fans don't need condoms. But Mike, what about the movie? Who cares about the movie? I mean, spoilers ahead or whatever. Who is Kylo Ren? He's a bad guy. Who are Ray and Finn? They're the good guys. Lightsabers. Why, that's a great question, Rich. Let's ask some fans. Hello? Oh my God, how embarrassing. Is BB-8 a boy or a girl? BB-8's well, a boy. Where do they find Luke's lightsaber? Um, I don't know, on, on the ground? In, in a closet? I don't know, maybe a, a robot has it? Why is Chewbacca's hair not gray? Well, he either dyed it, or uh, Wookiees lived to be like 300 years old, so he just hasn't turned gray yet. The first two Death Stars blowed up, why did it build a third one? Uh, because the, the X-Wings need to fight something that can blow up, and, and then this star can blow up at the end. And Who is Grand Imperial Emperor Lord Snoke? A bad guy. Lightsabers. Uh, wants to crush people in rebellion. Mexican. Girl. Black. Elderly white people. Where's the Chinaman? Uh, in China. Making Star Wars toys. Who is Lando's son? BB-8. Or Admiral Akbar, maybe. Leia is a general now. Why no princess? Too fat. Too old. Stormtrooper have thing to stop lightsaber. Where he get it? Uh, Kylo Ren make in case Jedi show up. No, no, no. No work. Me at Kylo Ren shield. Lightsaber fueled by. Wow. Those are some great answers. We also sat down and talked with director J.J. Abrams too. Who? JJ, tell us about Kylo Ren's mask. Fans are wildly speculating that it's good guy force proof, kind of like Magneto's helmet. Or, or is, it, is it lightsaber resistant? Like, like Darth Vader's suit, is it made out of kurtosis? I, maybe he's thinking really hard about his answer. Is it true that you were the one who told Carrie Fisher to lose weight? I'm told she tried to eat her dog. The rumor is Ray uses a lightsaber. Why? To hit another lightsaber, perhaps? Maybe Kylo Ren's lightsaber? Come on, JJ. Tell us what happens in the movie. And why give a girl a lightsaber? Haven't you seen the way they drive? 
JJ, there's been a lot of speculation as to where Han Solo has been for the last 30 years. And then you broke his ankle. Who's in charge of safety on your set? Jar Jar Binks? Also, were there any lightsaber accidents? JJ, I understand you're under enormous pressure because this film needs to gross more than $1.5 billion worldwide in order to satisfy Disney executives. They're taking a huge financial risk. Disney shareholders, investors, and corporate executives are very worried about the company's financial future. With an over $4 billion investment, there is a lot of pressure for your movie to succeed. Tell us about your love for the magic of movie making. Wait, shut up. Rich, a new trailer has just been released with one new shot. Let's take a look. Oh my God. Now just what is that? To me, that looks like it could be a hand. And I know who else has hands. Could that be Boba Fett in The Force Awakens? Share your thoughts on our Facebook page, Twitter, Instagram, and Rich Evans' Tinder profile. Rich, how much time do we have left? Days. Days? Wait, minutes! Oh shit, let's go! Well, Rich, what did you think? Yeah, that was good. That was good? Yeah. yeah. When is the next one coming out? Oh my god, yeah, it's called Rogue One. Oh, it's gonna be about yeah, that's X-Wings. It's about the mission to steal the plans for the Death Star before episode four. Oh, oh my god, oh my god, that's what they talked about in the first one. It's, it's gonna happen, we're gonna so, get to so see Darth it. Vader's gonna be in oh there. They're gonna have a cameo by Darth Vader. That's gonna be it's exciting, so, so I like Darth to... Vader. He's got that helmet on, yeah, and he is so a scary. super scary. I can't wait to see Darth Vader again. Oh my god, it's gonna be fucking amazing. You think we're gonna get to see a Bothan? I'm finally gonna get to see a Bothan. No, no, that was the plans for the second Death Star and Return of the Jedi. Oh. <clears throat> oh, Star Wars! I fucking love Star Wars! <laughs> oh, yeah.